Hello everybody and welcome back to 539 where we are doing new episodes every single Tuesday and Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you'd like to see some new uh, graveyard and cemetery adventures twice weekly, make sure to stay tuned to hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, whatever it is that you like to do. But if not, just remember 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday and Saturday. So we are back here at the Eel River Cemetery here uh, outside of Northeast, well, not, well outside of, uh, I guess, Fort Wayne and Auburn, uh, Garrett, Indiana, that type of area. And we are checking uh, back in on this place that was damaged so uh, badly in the storm. And we're gonna see what the updates are, hopefully before the sun sets here. We don't have too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out and get this started. And initial first look, it seems to be much better than it was the last time we visited here, but time will tell if everything is finished and repaired. I really am interested to see where this gigantic tree fell and had ripped up one of the memorials. This is interesting. I think this is new. There's an a couple of angel statues here that are really interesting. Huh. Looks like there is already, I didn't even recognize it, but this I believe was one of the areas that we surveyed last time. You can see a giant missing section here with a bunch of dirt. And yeah, and then this was our Campbell sign, or not sign, memorial here. And it is completely uncovered, freed from the clutches of the fallen tree and looking much better. It doesn't look like there's any permanent damage here. And you can see a few final remaining remnants here, but wow. And some veteran graves here. Fortunately, the flags have been kind of knocked over. It looks like it says 1918, so it looks like it is probably a World War I veteran there. Oh, I can just get to this one. Put that back up there, so. And then, difficult to see. Felger, Mary and John, 1862 to 1930 for Mary, 1855 to 1932. John and oh wow so there is not much damage there but unfortunately right next to it you can see a lot of damage wow that was really unfortunate a lot of damage uh, the stone seems to be somewhat safe though so that's good uh, it looks like Probably once all this is cleaned up, they'll be able to actually set it back up right, thankfully. But, unfortunate. Place looks completely different now. Almost can never, or almost could really tell that the tree had ever been here in the first place. And so, that's good. But it does lead me to think, you can see the scratch marks kind of here at the bottom from when it moved. I don't think it's actually scratch marks per se as much as it drugs some dirt with it, but it seems as if it probably did get damaged a good deal during, well not damaged, I guess just knocked off its base, thankfully. So, continue scanning here. It's crazy how much different it looks and feels now. I'm seeing, I think the area, I believe, might be the area where our stone was ripped out of the ground up here. And again, see a lot of dirt. And yeah, okay, so this is the area here. You 
And again, the grave of Ethel Bell Ames, 1900 to 1977, and had endured quite a bit of movement. Uh, it does not, again, look luckily like there was any permanent damage to it, so that's incredible. This massive tree was pushed over by the storm, and then with it came this here, the memorial of Ethel Bell Ames, 1900 to 1977. And again, I have to say, you know, excellent work to whoever's out here doing this. They clearly fixed it up quite well. You can see from the other side here that looking pretty decent too. And then the tree had fallen this way and had impacted these few stones here. I'm now seeing, it looks like maybe some cemetery workers. I wasn't sure when this place is. I'm pretty sure it's open dawn till dusk. I don't think there's an actual hour that it closes. So, and I didn't see a sign on the way in where I had before. And so I'm a little bit confused now. Actually, there is a sign up here. I'm gonna have to check it real quick, but you can see Again, these here have uh, remained, for the most part, unaffected. The Robinsons here, and Brumbaugh at the very end, Daniel and Ethel. This is definitely sunken but no real permanent damage either someone just got out or is getting in I'm not sure we'll see if they tell me to leave technically I'm within the time I believe but I'm gonna verify <laughs> if not I'll just go ahead and leave I guess and it'll be a short first part to our episode here but I'm almost positive it's till dusk which in my opinion is after the sun goes below the horizon I don't know about you maybe it's maybe it's not but that sign did not say anything either. So it seems that we have no visible hours here. And there is no sign at the other entrance there. So we'll just uh, go on the opinion of our possible cemetery or church workers if they, if they pull in here but it's not like I'm making an actual attempt to uh, elude anyone if they do want to throw me out. But it looks like they're just going to continue going. Yeah. Continuing on their way. So let's say that we are indeed safe. Let's continue on. I don't think we have too much more ground to cover here. And make sure to check out the previous episode here. We've been here a few different times, but it's, I think, really important to see what we're talking about or what I'm talking about when, you know, I'm. Uh, describing all this damage, so if this is the first time you've seen this place, or maybe the first time you've seen the channel, make sure to check out 
I believe, I'm not even sure, a few weeks ago, a month or so ago maybe, there we did an episode on a storm, and there was quite a bit of damage here, and so this is our updated episode, and I excuse the uh, sound, I'm being currently attacked by mosquitoes. You can see how much this area has grown up. This was a lot more clear last time. We're getting some uh, more native plant growth. But again, you know, so much effort goes into maintaining these places that my guess, again, wow. That's crazy. But my guess would be that, you know, they've been working pretty tirelessly to get the storm damage repaired. And so anything else has been kind of uh, temporarily maybe put on hold while they were doing that because it really was quite a bit of damage, at least to the trees. As you can see, the stones really did survive quite well. And really, the majority of the damage is still things like this. See the... I can't read the name on this. William E. something. And I'm being eaten up by mosquitoes, but again, most of it's historic damage, erosion, you know, past storms. In this way, we did have a few other memorials that were down, so let's go head that way and check that out. And hopefully, maybe avoid some of the mosquitoes. Wow. Some of this seems almost kind of new, but I can't remember the last time if I saw this or not. The grave here of... Emma Sailor, 1868 to 1900, sweetly sleeping, wife of Aaron. And has fallen off of its base. And quite a bit of overgrowth and damage in this area. Again, though, probably the primary concern of the last few weeks last few months maybe even has been repairing some of the damage well oh. and the ground doesn't see like incredibly wet or anything but i mean pretty much everywhere right now is just inundated with massive amounts of mosquitoes and it's so bad it makes it really hard to get out and film and oh yeah and even worse to try and get good content oh that looks kind of dangerous like a log hanging right here it's not super large it probably wouldn't do any damage to a memorial but if it were to fall off while you're walking under it it probably would not be fun times in the least and i think i haven't checked the time but i'd say maybe at best have another 10 minutes here before i need to get out of here i am trying to locate it looks like some of the damage was maybe up here. I don't see any. I, if I remember, this may have been something that I was thinking had been knocked down. Uh, but I'm not seeing this tree really missing too many limbs. This might have been down for a while. And then, wow, I don't think I've seen this before, but yeah, the Isabel, or uh, no, Gabriel, 18, 
36 to 1909 and is quickly being buried and who knows how many times it's been dug up since. Uh, yeah, I think this is all more historic damage, at least older than a few years in the Fair family section. I think we passed by this section the last time. And another bit of damage here that appears somewhat to be historical. It does look like they have uh, cut off a limb here somewhat recently. And you can see how this memorial at one time did have this knocked over. Or it could have, uh, as you can kind of tell, it is leaning. And so it may have at one point leaned so far because of erosion uh, due to rain and other things that it just fell backwards. So and this is, see, this is kind of difficult. I'm gonna probably have to try and grab this off of the video once I get back to edit, so. And, uh, it's very interesting inscription meant to look way more deep than it actually is. That's kind of uh, cool how they inscribed it. It is actually a relief. There is some depth to it. However, it's made to look deeper than it really is. If you uh, look at it sideways and then I kind of turn around, you can kind of get the effect that they're going for. Looks like Mary Smith, 1877. I can't see. It looks like age 74 years. And let's we'll see if there's any other names. It does look like some damage maybe here where something has fallen in the past and it's had to be freed. It's kind of some interesting... Almost looks like maybe a branch dug into it as it fell, something like that kind of hard to say and there's another big chunk right here that is missing and let's see if there's any it looks like over here maybe we have some evidence of some of the recent cleanup and again another massive tree here that I'm just really surprised didn't have any damage done to it in the recent storm even though you can see evidence right here of past damage where things have fallen and maybe even let's see well no no that looks like it's right side up I, I thought that was flipped over for a second but um do have some fresh looking dirt with some tracks in it right here and We are at this Woodman of the World section. Not seeing any signs of damage. Didn't I, is it just me or did I put this, didn't I put this back up last time? I swear this exact flag was taken out of the ground last time. Yeah, and I even have that bend. I swear I just replaced the same flag. Let me know. Is that it? And that I do it in the video on the episode because that would be kind of crazy. And here's another. It's not like somebody would have a vendetta against this section, you know, like a vendetta against somebody's family. Surely it's just a complete and utter accident. That is some hard ground. There we go. That worked. All right. Flag restored for potentially the second time. Uh, and some more, again, signs of damage from the recent storm. And another lucky close call here where it doesn't seem that anything has been at least recently permanently damaged. And I did spot a piece of the machinery that they were using in the back here 
to do some of the repairs. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to good, excuse me, uh, get a good look at it for you. But uh, we'll try here. I love this one just because of like some of the details at the bottom here in the Memorial to John Crawford, 1862. And then another fallen branch here. Almost looks like it has fallen more recently. And let's see if our, yeah, you can see right there in the middle some uh, heavy machinery for uh, moving dirt and things around. More than likely what was used in the recent repairs that seem to be, for the most part, done. And so, if I can say one good thing about storms like this, it's that at the very least it does sort of... Uh, put things into motion a lot of times. Um, if there was something that was already in need of repair and then now it's been struck by a storm, you know, uh, it is. And not to say anything negative against the workers here, it seems that they've done, you know, an utterly fantastic job of cleaning this up and caring for the place in general. Again, it is hard, you know, with especially something like this with thousands of memorials you know there's always going to be something falling into a state of disrepair so you know i definitely like to give them the benefit of the doubt this is a definitely another place that is really historic and needs you know a lot of repair in different places but you know there's not always that money flowing in that they need to get that all done and so there has to sometimes be a choice that's made and so, you know, if that's something that does upset you, then, you know, that is something that you can't help out on. There are organizations that do charity work for things like this, uh, and you can donate your time, your money, uh, your property, you know, whatever it might be, you know, to help in situations like this and help for uh, places like this to not just uh, disappear. I believe we have... Uh, successfully toured most of the damaged areas if not all the damaged areas so uh, thank you once again for watching this episode on 539 remember again new episodes on tuesdays and saturdays at 8 a.m eastern standard time just in case the notification bell doesn't go off you don't get your notifications and you're wondering if there's an episode if it's past 8 a.m on one of those days then the answer is yes. And thank you once again, and I'll see you in the next adventure.